People love arguing about which steam locomotive was the biggest. Big Boy. Allegheny. Yellowstone. Everyone's got an opinion. There is no single answer. It depends on what you're measuring. Heaviest? Most horsepower? Strongest pull? Each locomotive dominated something different. Let's break it down. When most people think massive steam locomotive, they think the big boy. And yeah, it earned that reputation. Built by the American Locomotive Company between 1941 and 1944. 25 of them. Each one a 4884 articulated monster designed for one job. Haul freight over the Wasatch Mountains between Ogden, Utah and Green River, Wyoming. The numbers tell the story. 1.2 million pounds with tender. That's 600 tons of steel and steam. Length, 132 feet 10 inches. Longer than two buses parked end to end. Power output hit 6,290 horsepower at 41 miles per hour. Tractive effort, the pulling force at the wheels, measured 135,375 pounds. 16 driving wheels, 68 inches in diameter, 545,000 pounds resting on those drivers. Boiler pressure, 300 pounds per square inch. Big Boy could pull 3,600 tons unassisted up grades that broke smaller locomotives. On level track, it hit 70 miles per hour. Not bad for something that weighed more than a Boeing 747. The railroad retired them by 1962. Diesels were cheaper. Eight survive today. Seven sit in museums. By 2019, it was running again. The world's largest operating steam locomotive. That restoration cost millions. It took six years. But when 4014 rolled under its own power in May 2019, 60 years after retirement, people wept. Some things are worth bringing back. Big Boy gets the fame. But the Allegheny? That thing was a beast. Lima Locomotive Works built 60 of them between 1941 and 1948. A 2666 wheel arrangement, built for coal drags through the Allegheny Mountains. Here's where it gets interesting. The Allegheny weighed about the same as Big Boy, roughly 1.2 million pounds total. Some sources say the engine alone hit 771,300 pounds. Lima initially miscalculated the weight, said it was lighter. Then maintenance crews actually weighed them. Oops. Lima got sued for $3 million over that mistake. But forget the weight controversy. Look at the horsepower. Tests recorded 7,498 horsepower at 45 miles per hour. That's the highest ever measured for any reciprocating steam locomotive. Ever. Big Boy hit 6,290. The Allegheny beat it by more than 1,200 horsepower. Four cylinders, 22 and a half inches by 33 inches. Boiler pressure, 260 pounds per square inch. Tractive effort, 110,200 pounds. The massive firebox sat behind the driving wheels and needed a six-wheel trailing truck just to support it. The tender held 25 tons of coal and 25,000 gallons of water. It had an angled design at the rear to fit on turntables. Chesapeake and Ohio designed them to haul 5,000 tons at 45 miles per hour. Instead, they were used in drag service, pulling 10,000 ton trains at 15 miles per hour. Wasted potential. By 1956, all 60 were retired after 11 years of service. Most were scrapped. Only two survive. Number 1601 sits inside the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Number 1604 lives at the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore. Want the heaviest? Meet the Yellowstone. A 2884 wheel arrangement. 
Baldwin built 18 of them for the DM and IR between 1941 and 1943. They were built to haul iron ore through Minnesota. Total weight with loaded tender was 1,133,040 pounds. That's 566 tons. The heaviest steam locomotives ever to operate in regular service. Engine weight alone hit 695,040 pounds. The tender added another 438,000 pounds fully loaded. 26 tons of coal and 25,000 gallons of water. Four cylinders. 26 inches by 32 inches. Boiler pressure 240 pounds per square inch. Tractive effort was 140,000 pounds higher than Big Boy's 135,375. The Yellowstone could outpull the famous Union Pacific Giant. Horsepower came in at 6,250, slightly less than Big Boy, but more pulling force where it counted. 63-inch drivers were optimized for low-speed heavy hauling. They needed maximum power. The Yellowstone delivered. It could pull 19,000-ton ore trains that's raw pulling power. These locomotives barely lasted 20 years. The first retirement came in 1958. The last one was parked in 1963. Diesels took over. Three survived today. Number 225 sits in Proctor, Minnesota. Number 227 lives at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth. Number 229 rests in two harbors. All are static displays. None will ever run again. Norfolk and Western Y-6B. The Pulling King. Most people overlook this one. Biggest mistake they can make. The Norfolk and Western Y-6B held the record for highest tractive effort of any steam locomotive. Period. Built in Roanoke, Virginia, between 1948 and 1952. 30 units were produced. A two 882 compound mallet. The last refinement of a design the N and W had been perfecting since 1912. Engine weight was 582,900 pounds, with the tender total weight was around 990,000 pounds. Lighter than the others, but that was not what mattered. Tractive effort? 170,000 pounds. Modifications in 1952 boosted it that high. Nothing else came close. Four cylinders. Two high-pressure cylinders at 25 by 32 inches. Two low-pressure cylinders at 39 by 32 inches. Compound operation. Steam used twice for maximum efficiency. Horsepower was rated at 5,600, lower than the others. But tractive effort is what gets a train moving from a standstill. And nothing beat the Y6B there. 58-inch drivers. Boiler pressure, 300 pounds per square inch. The tender held 30 tons of coal and 20,000 gallons of water. These locomotives could haul 14,500 ton coal trains. Three Y6BS could move a 175 car coal drag over the Appalachian Mountains. Norfolk and Western resisted dieselization longer than anyone. They had coal, cheap fuel, modern steam power. Why switch? In 1952, they tested Y6BS against EMDF-7 diesel sets. Four unit diesel versus one steam locomotive. Fuel costs came out roughly equal. The test was called a tie, but eventually diesels won. Maintenance costs, flexibility, the future. The last Y6B ran in the summer of 1960. Number 2200, the final one built in 1952. It was also the last, last mainline steam locomotive manufactured in the United States. Tragedy? Not one survived. Every single Y6B was scrapped. Number 2174 nearly made it. It ran the farewell to steam excursion in 1959. It sat in a scrapyard until 1976. Preservationists tried to save it. Too late. A British scrap company bought the yard and cut it up. It was the strongest pulling steam locomotive ever built. Gone forever. So which was most powerful? 
Depends what you mean by powerful. Heaviest? Yellowstone winds at 566 tons. Most horsepower? Allegheny takes it. 7,498 horsepower. Strongest pull? Y6B. 170,000 pounds of tractive effort. Most famous? Big boy. Only one still running. Each locomotive was built for specific conditions. Big Boy for mountain grades at speed. Allegheny for sustained high horsepower. Yellowstone for maximum weight on heavy ore drags. Y6B for compound efficiency and pure pulling force. They represented the peak of steam technology, the absolute limit of what reciprocating pistons and boilers could achieve. Engineers pushed metal and steam to the edge. Then diesels arrived. Cheaper, more flexible, required less maintenance, could be coupled in multiple units for any power requirement. By 1960, steam was finished. An entire era ended. But those locomotives? They proved what American engineering could accomplish. Raw power built from steel, fire, and determination. Machines that shook the ground when they rolled past. Most are gone now. Scrapped. Melted down. Erased. Eight big boys survive. Two Alleghenies sit in museums. Three Yellowstones rust in Minnesota parks. The Y6Bs? All dead. But their legacy remains. Because nothing modern will ever match the raw, thundering presence of a steam locomotive at full power. Nothing.